Hi, this is Mark Pollock, uh, saving the world one bee at a time here. I came in, you can kind of see the hives in the background. I had a swarm uh, last week at my house and uh, it is swarm season. So I was gonna go check on the swarmed hive, which is the uh, purple coneflower hive over there. And as I was walking back to the car to get some equipment, I noticed this, another swarm of bees. So, um, yeah, you can kind of see they're in there. Um, I'm guessing that was uh, the hive that was in there. So, so I'm gonna catch this hive. Uh, so the, the bees naturally split. So I'm gonna go grab a, grab a box. I actually had another box to add on uh, to the one that split if it needed it, but looks like I'm catching another split hive here. It's on a pretty small branch. I don't have uh, loppers or any kind of tools to, to cut that off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna improvise on video. All right, we're still on video. So yeah, they're right here. You can come. A uh, couple people were walking by. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they probably swarmed out of that tall one. Uh -huh. That's what I was coming to check on it. But uh, that, actually the purple clone flower swarmed at my other hive and I brought the split over here. So now I was gonna see if I needed to add more, but I missed it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna use this cardboard box as the bottom, lay it under there, and then shake those into this box and put oh another cardboard box at the top. Praise God, I'm going over this Yeah, <laughs> probably a good idea. It's gonna get exciting in about 10 minutes. Yeah. is in the, actually in the center of there. So all I gotta do, it's on this little branch here. Okay. So I'm probably gonna just, I'm gonna suit up and then snap that branch. Uh -huh. And then hopefully she fall, or the, most of the clump falls in there and the queen goes in there. But yeah, they're gonna get pissed off and go crazy. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend staying. You could stand back at about 10 feet of privacy. No, I think I'll head out. I've, uh, <laughs> I've seen it happen numerous times. We had, uh, I lived on a farm and we had numerous hives. Yeah. But they, they get wild. They don't produce as much honey. And they were getting, uh, angry all the time nasty yeah it just depends on the queen really what i found if the queen is not not a good queen then the whole hive is crazy but for the most part they're pretty gentle
We still rolling? Oh yeah. So, I think I'm literally just going to shake this in, maybe snap it, we'll see. So I got the swarm pretty much just on this branch. It's actually really cool. So I'm going to just, and the queen's most likely in there because that's where the bulk of them are. But I'll shake that in as well. I'm just going to drop that whole branch right in there. And then I'll get this in there too. See that? Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, they're in there. I don't really have a, a top, so I'm just going to use moving boxes I actually had in, in the back of the suburban. So. Queen is most likely in there. Put these frames in and then put another. I got a cardboard moving back down below. And I'll put another one on top and I'll come back with the real tap later. This will do for now. Notice these uh so still have a little entrance on the side. Alright. So there you go. A swarm. Now come and check on the uh, <laughs> swarm from yesterday or last week. See how it's doing. It might have been the same hive, so it'll be interesting to see. Are we still rolling? Oh yeah, ten minutes. Here we go. Oh, 
warm, so I'll take that off. I'll put it back on if I need it. Got the smoker fired up. Could have been the ones that were in here, we'll see. Or one of the other uh, nukes that I had going. They were pretty full as well, and they had a couple of different queens in them. So. Pine needles in there, and some wood chips that I grabbed from around. Let that burn for a minute. bees in here, a lot of bees, so this is most likely not the hive that just swarmed. We'll see. startled from the uh, unexpected swarm so right. yeah so they're all since I dropped that they're not so happy so I'm just gonna close that up <laughs> we'll open that back up at another time. Yeah, we'll move on to this one. Let's see what's going on in this one. All right, so yeah, that slipped out of my hand, so I'm not going to uh, mess with that hive. So let's go in this one, see how these guys are going. They've got to calm down. I probably won't go in there today. I know it wasn't the hive that swarmed, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll check on them tomorrow. This one's got a lot of bees, a lot of... Take a deep breath. Got honeycomb here. Nothing better. are drawing kind of weird honeycomb off the ends. I'm just gonna scrape that off. You want to keep 
keep the honeycomb in the middle and then it's easier to get the uh, frames in and out. That's why you go in the hives every week or so. They're starting to draw that out, put some honey in there. Some extra comb here. I'm gonna get rid of that too. We call it burr comb. It's kind of falling into the front. Really see the white honeycomb, just fresh drawn. It's awesome. So it really just looks like they're just starting to draw this out. So I'm gonna stop pulling them and then just move on to the next lower box and look for eggs. down here, which is awesome. And they're starting to put honey in the, in the top. The only thing I don't like is all of this extra comb up on here. I'm gonna try to get them off of here. Get them down and then scrape this all off. by the entrance there and then I figure that way it's easy for them to just pick it up and grab it and put it back inside just at a better place on a frame instead of in between loosen the first one out. There's a bunch of larvae. You see a lot of capped brood in there. A little honey on the side. So this was a short one and I let them draw the bottom out. I'm going to hang this here. Out of, the side, out of the way. So well, that's good. The uh, all that kept brood tells me the queen's in here laying eggs. Some kept 
for there. The lighter the color, you can tell that they're laid more recent. So if it's a little darker, then you know they're a little older. It takes about a month for a bee to go through its metamorphosis. Yeah, this one's got some larva in it. I don't know if you can see that. Put it up there. Got a bunch of cat brood and some larva. So the queen is, is doing really well in here. I do have a drone comb in here, so if I didn't, I would just close it up. I've kind of seen enough. I'll pull a couple more and see what I got. like one swarm cell in there, which is a queen cell. A bunch of drone capped brood in there so what they tell you to do and I'm gonna probably stop the camera but you can freeze that I like to just kind of go through them and uh, see if I've got mites so uh, if I do I don't want them to uh, multiply with the drones in there so I'm gonna probably stop the camera, clean that out because that's gonna take a little while, um, and then I'll uh, I'll pull it back on when I go into these guys, see how the queens are doing. <laughs> 